is going to be a Hey guys, so it's me, Missy. And as you guys know, I was at a rock festival in Nuremberg, Germany, Europe, continent on the planet Earth. Um, yeah, so this is not going to be a hyper video because I'm tired. I'm a very tired girl. The festival was so awesome. You get like a wristband thingy. It's like a yellow one which I don't got on here right now. Don't ask me why. That's in another video. Why I don't have my own. Um, yeah, and, um... It was yellow and it said Rockin' Park on it. And it was actually pretty cool. My first festival of Brisbane. Well, yeah, when we were there, we went to the like gates thingies where they can check your bags, blah blah blah. Don't have a knife or a gun and everything. And um, then you had to like show what's in your bag and everything. And we showed my friend's bag, and they took away our water. The thing was, you're only allowed to have like your drinks and cartons, so you don't throw bottles at the bands or whatever. And so we had them in cartons. We had two one-liter cartons and one two-liter carton because they said two liters per person. And then they took the big two liter carton away from us saying, yeah, you're not allowed to have two liters packed up as one. You have to have four one liter cartons. So of course we were mad. Two people have to lift with two liters of water. And that on a day which, where it was like between 80 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And we were pissed. But we said, okay, we gave them the carton and whatever. So, when we got in there, there was this guy in a Spider-Man costume just climbing around on the two porta potties scaring people that came out, taking away their hats, everything. It was actually pretty funny. Um, and then we went on to the stages. So, the stages were just okay, three stages and one tent. Yeah, three stages, one tent. It gave it, it was a disco tent, then it gave the alternate stage, club stage, and center stage. In the first band we went to was at, well, the first two bands we went to were at the center stage. That's like the biggest stage what they had. And it was on this big soccer field. It was like gigantic. It was like three soccer fields next to each other. And so we were over there and we were enjoying our ourselves. We drank our water, sat in the grass, listening to the band that was playing. It was a band that we barely, that I never heard of personally. I'm not going to try to say what their name is. I, I don't know what their name is. Um, and so yeah, that was actually kind of awesome. And then after that band that was playing Metallica, was playing, I was going crazy. I mean, they had such a good performance. I mean, I swear to God, that performance was awesome. They had fire. They had lasers. They had big black balloons, ball balloons like this big flying over the crowd. They threw them in there and were kicking them around and everything. And it was really awesome. Um, and then, of course, I, there were some drunk people. Who would have known? I am kind of like cross I, I don't know. Am I standing? Am I sitting me? Why am I okay. Sorry. Mm. Focus. Anyways, um, when they were playing, there were drunk people. And whoever drinks beer between 80 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit is stupid. Because that stuff hits you like a bomb. You drink one glass, you're okay. 
you could drink more than one glass, you're drunk. So this girl, she was so drunk, the people made a circle around her. Like, you have to imagine, the whole thing was full of people. I mean, it was full to the very end. Okay, and they managed in the middle of it to make a circle. They squished themselves together so that she can, um, one second. Hi, Daddy. Daddy. Okay, I'm back. Oh my god. Now it's been running 14 minutes by computer without me being here. <laughs> where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Um, people making the circle. They were making this big circle for that girl. And, um, so she can wobble back and forth. Well, uh, she was dancing, of course, she was drunk. And everybody enjoyed it. They had a great time. But, man, she kept on falling over a couple times too much. And me and my friends, we helped the, her friends take her home to the... Helped her take her home to their tent, and then when she was in the tent, she was sleeping, everything right. We told them, "Have fun tomorrow." Of course, and they said they're gonna leave her in the tent. So I don't know if they left her in the tent for the rest of the weekend or not. I don't know, but I know it was pretty damn funny. I got it. I'm level hit. That makes it look better. Anyways, um, so that was actually kind of funny. And then when the day was over, around three o'clock, we went home. Um, had to walk home since at three o'clock the buses or whatever we we're going. So. We'd rather walk them five minutes than take the bus or wait an hour or pay a taxi or whatever. And on our way home, we saw a little porcupine. I think that's what they're called. Porcupine. Them little bally animals with the porky thingies in it. That look like this. You know what I mean. Um, yeah, it was so cute. I was like, I had like a couple years, I was already a little bit, a little tipsy, a little bit, a little bit. We saw a little porcupine, or I saw the porcupine, I just saw like a little black thing walking over this thing all quick like, and I was like, oh my god, look what's there, and my friends were like, oh my god, what is it, what is it, what is it, and I, we were freaking out, right, we, like, me from Texas, I like little crawly thingies, I love animals, and I don't care to go into them and check it out what it is. So I went over there and kneed down and looked really closely, like really closely. And it was a porcupine. I was like, oh my god, it's so cute, look at it. And my friend wanted to touch it. I was like, no, you can't touch it. It's going to poke you and all that. He was like, no, it ain't. And he wanted to pet it. And I smacked him on his hand and he did not touch it. So of course they all wrapped their jackets around their hand and it and all that stuff. And they curled up into a little ball like it was scared from all these people being around. We were like six to ten people. And it was so cute. Oh my god. And the nice people we are, we put them in my friend's jacket like on top of it. And like kind of hovered it over into the jacket. Took it off from the sidewalk and put it into a... Uh, Grass. And as soon as we put the jacket down, it was like scattered away. It was actually pretty cute. So, yeah, and then when we got home, it was already 4 o'clock or whatever. Um, and we were way too awake to go to bed, way too tired to go out and do something. So, what did we going to do? We filled up a big, uh, screen thingy like in the movie theaters and we started to play Diablo and we played till 5 o'clock or something like that 
And around 5 o'clock we were like, okay, screw this. We have to go to bed soon. Or why not make it up in the morning? So we got up, went into the room, and went to sleep. Tried. But eventually we fell asleep. All I really need for you to do is just please talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy.